heavyweights very big at the moment obviously very big now this guy burst on the scene from absolutely nowhere a couple of years ago when he won prize fighter he then managed to beat audley harrison he then beat matt skelton and he'd only had at that stage 12 fights he then lost back-to-back -back fights against sam sexton for the commonwealth title and he suffered an injury quite a serious injury he's been out of action since november and i called up with him earlier today of course i'm talking about big marty rogan belfast finest and i started by asking him about the injury, how serious it was, about the operation, and when he'll be back. Well, Steve, it's good to be, it's good to be back on the phone, Paul, and he's back on the radio with BBC. Um, I'm an in the ring, just say, from November, um, immediately after the Saxon fight, um, I had to go immediately to hospital and get checked out, which I found, which I knew already was there, but I thought it was maybe worse um, after the fight. Uh, I ended up having to get a second effusion. I'm um, on C5, C6 on the neck, um, which basically is I had to get the disc that sits between um, vertebrae C5 and C6. I had to get it completely removed as it was pushed out um, the back of my neck. Wow. Stephen, when was the operation? Uh, the operation was done on the 20th of January. That was the quickest thing to do. I had to go private and get it done. And when, 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 when were you allowed back in the gym, or have you not been back in the gym yet? No, so, I've only been back in the gym in the last two weeks. I've been back doing a bit of training, a bit of road running. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, well, just, thankfully, my, my, my physio um, diagnosed all this before he even got there, and okay. he looked after me pretty well, John McKee, and he uh, warned me of the dangers of it, but uh, I still went ahead and, and, and fought some, you know. Was it was it a, was it an injury that could have ended your career then? It could have. Uh, I was very cold previous to the fight, um, which you um, will probably um, see more often, hear more often in the, in the, in the next few months. I um, was told by um, my own physio um, and also a doctor that if I, I got hit hard enough that I could have ended up paralyzed in the ring, I wow. wouldn't want to again. But uh, I took my chances, you know. But I ended up at the end of the day, as a bully, as a bully did in a fight. But yeah. the guy, the guy took the belt, and that's just the way it is. But the, the fight that I that I had to get after, you know, he got the belt, and of course, that's the way it goes. That's boxing. That is boxing. That's, that's, so, that's boxing. You so, know, and, so when mi when might you be back in a competitive fight, Big well, Marty? Steve, I'm hoping we're all going well. I had to, as I say, a fusion. For those that, that don't know what a fusion is. Um, I had to get the top of my hip um, cut off. I had to get put and replaced with this was taken out. I had to get the bone put back in there. So now it has to grow from the front to the back, but his bone grows. So I got a, a 3D image done of it there a few weeks back, and it's three quarters, three quarters of the way growing. But I also um, I had to be very careful for the next few weeks. Um, I have a 3 inch by inch titanium plate screwed into my neck also. But Henry Adams able to hold it back, to hold it all together. Um, Thankfully, it's, it's an operation which has taken place in America and other countries in the world. A very successful operation. Rory Best, um, Austin Ireland star and rugby here, had yeah. to get the same operation. It's, uh, it can be very successful and it's 100% it's proof because um, they've already proved that American footballers and stuff have already had this done. So I'm hoping to be back. I was thinking maybe September, but I think it may be a bit too early. I'm hoping yeah. for October. I've got... I'm working with a guy in Belfast City Centre now, he's doing a bit of strength and conditioning. I'm a fiddle room with me that night, uh, John McGee, mm. who he hasn't, he's, he's done more than, than, than anybody would ever do for you. He's not even a fiddle, he just cares a lot about me because I've known each other that long and, and the work that he's done with me and he diagnosed it and everything's going well. So with the help of, of the team that I've got behind me now that hopefully be back in October and starting it up again. And, and seeing how we get on, that see Mr. Saxton um, is uh, going to bully Gary Tesoro, but I wonder, wonder what would happen to Gary stop the bully. Yeah? Hey, I tell you what, you know what, you used the correct expression there, stir it up a little bit. You've got Derek Chisora can't stop talking, Tyson Fury can't stop talking, they've stolen your they've stolen your heavyweight title as the talkers. I know, I know, I know, and that was me thinking I was the best talker. No, no way, at the moment you're in third place, Big Mark, you've got to sort oh, this out. No, I'm going to I'm gonna have to give Tyson Fury ring and Derek and say, look, hold on, lads. <laughs> That's time for me to take back my title here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, Big Marty, friend, listen, good luck with the rest yeah, of your re okay. rehabilitation. If we get a chance, just, um, Steve, mm -hmm. just want to thank all the fans in England sure. and all the fans here at home for all the support to it and my, my, my career there in the last two years. And I will be back. Um, you better believe it, I'll be back. Uh -huh. So to everybody in, in England that listens to BBC, 
I'll be back. Thanks for all your support for everything, and I'll be back to give you more good news. Uh, listen, Big Marty, thanks very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you to hear from me again. And yeah, everybody there. Great to speak to you, Marty oh, Rogan okay. there. Okay, bye-bye.